You're watching TT Boxing in association with IFL TV. I'm joined by TJ the Power Dehaney after his KO victory here in Sydney tonight over Espinos Cebu. Thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks very much, Tom. Very, uh, very quick night's work for, for yourself. Looked yeah. like you wanted it to go on a bit further. I know, yeah. I've, I've been checking that guy out on YouTube. I was just saying it there in my interview, and he, he was pretty durable. I was, I was expecting eight, eight runs of hard work there tonight. Bit disappointed because I've been out for a while because I've had a few family issues and a few things going on with my son just being born there and stuff, you know. So I, I wanted to get back and get a good hard eight rounds behind me before we move on to bigger things. It wasn't to be, um, so very, you know, dispatch has been very easy and like I say he's been proved to be durable in the past and, and his only losses have come at a very high level so um, obviously that's a, a good scalp on, yeah, on your yeah, resume. Well, it looks good in one sense but for me I would like him to get to work but I, I remember I caught him, I caught him once and then I, he kind of flinched, then I caught him a good left hand kind of in a temple and he went down and he came back up then he was complaining about his hand and then he kind of just went down really easy then you know so. Yeah, you could see the frustration in your face when uh, when the fight was called off. Yeah, Is, uh, yeah I was I was disappointed as well because you know everybody comes that after coming down to support me, after coming a long way out here to punch ball to watch me, and then they only give him two and a half minutes of work. Even though it's impressive to be stopping a guy in, in one round, I need I needed the rounds myself. I needed the work, especially for the bigger things that's on the horizon. You know. Yeah, absolutely. That was going to be my next question. Um, so today was very much about getting uh, shaking off a bit of ring rust and, and keeping yourself warm as, as much as it was a, a tough fight to, to take on paper. Um, but big things in the work in, in the offing for yourself moving forwards. Um, just let everyone know what, what's the situation there with yourself and the IBF. Yeah, well, the IBF have me sitting in at number four at the minute. The champion is Yukonori Aguni from Japan. There's one guy ahead of me, um, Iwasa, and then the one or two positions are vacant. So. At the moment, Aguni's injured, so we're waiting for him to um, come back and see what his defence is going to be. We don't know, we could get the call, we don't know, but that's where we've got to stay ready. I've been training the last 12 weeks, just waiting for a call if it does come. If not, I think he might defend against Iwasa, then I'm next in line, and whoever else in, is, is going to be available will probably be a walks off eliminate for the number one spot mandatory position. Excellent, so all big things. Well. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> all going well. Um, all going well in the next six months we should have some uh, pretty interesting things going on in my career. Excellent, very exciting time to see, um, you know, going say, towards that, that world title and um, in how much you know about, about those fighters, obviously um, you well, know, it looks like a trip to Japan might be on, yeah, on the way. Yeah, it looks like it's on the cards but um, I'm just going to wait to see, let that, let that come to fruition. I'm, I'm watching those guys, um, Oguni actually won the title from a guy I train with, uh, that trains with my coach in Boston. Um, Jonathan Guzman, and yeah. um, I think Guzman just gave him a little bit too much space. I think Guzman was the better fighter, but uh, Oguni got up on the night, and um, I think I think all going well, and I get another one or two fights behind me. Those boys shouldn't trouble me. I, I'm gonna say that wholeheartedly. That's not bullshit, like you know. Absolutely, and then Ireland will have another world champion in uh, in the sport of boxing, which yeah. is becoming more and more common these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers um, crossed. Another um, to another one of your countrymen is travelling over to fight in Australia very soon. In, in Michael Conlon, he's only had a couple of professional fights, but a lot of uh, a lot of noise coming over from from Ireland about Conlon. What do you think? It's um, do you think it's good for Australian boxing and for him to be coming out here on yeah, that it is, on that it's card? Brilliant. It's brilliant for raising the profile of Irish boxers as well in Australia. You know, Smith is a talented lad. World Amateur Champion, Ireland's only World Amateur Champion. I came up through the amateurs with his brother Jamie. We did it, we went on a lot of boxing trips together and stuff, so they're a big boxing family. His dad's a really big boxing man as well, so it's great to see him there and I wish him all the best. Is it's, a, it's a close-knit community, the uh, the boxing fraternity in, in Ireland, and I understand you've got a fairly decent um, amateur pedigree over there yeah. as well before um, before moving across, and I'm sure anyone can, can have a look at that. But, um, but I know you're probably keen to go off and, and celebrate the win tonight, and, um, and so obviously start those plans in place for later on this year. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for your time, TJ, Thanks and, so and hopefully we'll see you. Just before you go there, I just want to say a big thanks to uh, a man who's like a father to me, really. He's been there from day one, probably would it. Without him, I would never be where I am, Mr. Tony Del Vecchio. Oh well, wow. so, I know, but like honestly, I don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words here with him. But like, without him, none of his fighters would be where they are today. The man stretches and bends, bends over backwards again to get his fighters into the position. He'll do anything for him. He treats them like his own kids. So I just want to say a big thanks to him. He deserves all the credit he gets. Absolutely, absolutely. Well done, Tony. And uh, look, well done again on your fight tonight, TJ. And, and say enjoy the uh, enjoy the victory. And, and let's hope you bring back that world title very soon. All right, Tom. Nice one. Cheers, nice. mate. Thank you.